Welcome to SNA Story Time. I'm Herlis. I'm Shafir. Herlis, do you have any wish toward the world? Wish? I have a lot of wish, but I really want to have peace all over the world. I watched a story this morning. Can you believe that the animal also have wish toward the world? Shafir, how do you know they have wish? Do you understand their language? <laughs> Herlis, I do know their language. Woof 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 woof. Beep 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 beep. Okay, just kidding. Hers, every organisms or living things they all have wish. It's just that we don't understand what they're talking about. So, what kind of wish do you think they have? The same as us. Today we'll be watching a story called the Tiger's Wish. The Tigers will tell us what their wish will toward the world. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Mommy, where are the other tigers in the world? Hmm, other tigers? Well, they all have to find some way to live. Hmm, why? For many reasons, my dear. Many reasons. Wow, why is this tree so big? This tree has been here for a very long time. She used to take care of all the tigers like me. Wow. When can I take care of all the tigers like you? <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> hey, look! It's Princess Phoebe and the Queen. Mom, it's Tim and Nina. Can I go play with them? Okay, just don't go too far. Two little tigers, two little tigers, run, 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 quick, quick, quick. <laughs> one has no eyes, one has no tail, how bizarre, how bizarre. Wait, I have a question. Huh? huh? Why? Why do we need to run fast? Why does one have no eyes? Why does the other have no tail? I know, my mom said we have to run fast so that we won't be caught and turned into tiger stew by humans. <laughs> Just look at Tim's mom. She lost her tail when escaping from the humans. Yeah, it was horrible. Now I don't dare to go out and play by myself. Besides, humans have destroyed many forests. For that reason, Boss Tiger was forced to leave his house. Now he is still homeless. Oh no! Then we will have no place to hunt for prey. We'd better turn ourselves into vegetarians ASAP. Without the natural protection of forests and grass, we will no longer blend easily into our environment. Oh no! We may even have to change the color of our fur. I am the leader of all the tigers. I can't let these things keep happening. Now, it's time for us to unite all the tigers. Hmm, I will host a global summit with all the tigers. Hey, little cubs. Mommy! Come on, we have something to do. What are we going to do? We are going to host a global summit with all the tigers. A global summit! Cool! As a result, the queen calls out to every direction. Tigers from all over respond to her call right away. Very soon, the day of the global summit comes. Tiger representatives from everywhere have arrived. There is the boss tiger who is still fighting for his home. And the South China tiger who is dressed up like a human to avoid being captured and the Indo-Chinese tiger, who has been through many wars. Even the smiling Royal Bengal tiger from India has come for the summit. Let's begin the assembly! 
Welcome to the summit on the living rights of all tigers from around the world. I heard there is an organization called the UN NGO Association of World Citizens. They issued a global endorsement of declarations for human rights of world citizens and peace. It said that all things follow the law of nature. The origins of heaven, earth, and human beings are one. This proves that we are endowed with tiger rights by heaven. All things are born equal. We must unite ourselves for our future generations. I agree. There used to be constant wars on the Indochina Peninsula. For that reason, we tigers have become fewer and fewer. We want no wars! No wars! No wars! My ancestors lived in many places in China. Many of them were captured and turned into tiger stew. Just because humans believe that tiger bones can cure some diseases. No! I'm a Sumatran tiger, since the problem of illegal logging has become more serious. The rainforests are fast disappearing. I've become homeless. Oh my goodness! Everyone has been through so much tragedy. Now tigers all over the world are almost done for. What should we do? What should we do? Kids, don't panic. Huh? Not all humans are bad guys. People show their respect to us in India. I suggest we help humans to realize the living crisis of all tigers around the world, and we can call on them to protect animals. Yes, we can send the humans photos of our cute cubs to invoke their sympathy for us. I will tell people how horrible wars are with my personal experiences. Hmm, I think I can retract my claws for now. Forget about revenge and coexist peacefully with humans. Yeah, great! Wonderful! Wonderful. <laughs> then, Mommy, how will the humans hear our voices? Hmm, let me think. Excuse me! Excuse me! Sorry I'm late! I've been in the city for so long, I even get lost in the jungle! Ha ha ha! Oh, it's no problem. Welcome, sir. And you are... Oh, I am a city tiger from the Central Park Zoo in New York. So, you must know the humans very well, right? Yeah, I have many human friends. So... The tigers are eager to tell the city tiger everyone's ideas. Oh no! We tigers are in a very dangerous situation now. Actually, I know many animals are in the same crisis now. Like polar bears, Sumatran rhinos, and even mountain gorillas. But don't worry, my friends. We can use the internet to spread our voices to the humans. Huh? Internet? No, my friends, it's the internet. It can go beyond borders and connect everyone in the world. We can send important messages through the internet, make a tiger website, and even invite a human to be our spokesperson. Yes, I'll ask my friends who are still in hiding to work together for this worthy cause. We will remind humans the tigers are part of their cultures, too. Exactly. We can also share with everyone online that tigers are symbols of beauty, bravery, and power. In Asian customs, people even believe that tigers can expel evil. Wow! Incredible! Besides, a little tiger was chosen as the mascot of the 1988 Olympic Summer Games held in Seoul. When I was in India, I heard that Dr. Hong Dao Tzu had traveled around the world promoting love, peace, and human rights. As long as humans coexist with nature peacefully and humans change their attitude and begin positive thinking, the Earth can be saved. Our living rights will prevail! 
Good! We'll make our resolutions into a declaration and ask all humans to protect the living rights of all animals with us. Now, all the tiger representatives have finished and signed the declaration to protect the living rights of animals. We resolve that we tigers should bravely tell the humans that as the highest form of living creatures, they should properly use their rights and power, safeguard the earth, protect all living creatures, and truly practice basic living rights that are given to all living things by heaven. Yay! After that, each of the tigers started to do his share. The idea of animal protection has spread wide and far. If you look around, you'll find many organizations working for animal protection. It is never too late to do what is right. Dr. Hong Daozi hopes When, when the, the tiger's roar reaches heaven, you stand bravely in the face of change and improve your life for the better. It will allow you to enjoy good karma forever! If we look at the world with a pure heart, this world would be full of light. Only through true understanding of love, respect, peace, human rights, and safeguarding the earth can we still dance with this world peacefully. Oh, I never noticed that the tigers and I got the same wish. Dr. Hong once said that all beings in the earth are brothers and sisters, so we should coexist in peace with animals, protect the natural ecology, and respect the right to survival of all creatures on the earth. Helish, what is the right to survival on the earth? The right to survival? Mm, it means that everyone has the right to exist on the earth. For example, do you like rats? No, I hate rats. Rats are dirty and they, they eat trash. Shaffer, but you know, no matter how much you hate it, you can't kill it. Because it is alive, it has a right to live on the earth. Oh, I see. Just like humans have humans' rights, we are all entitled to live in the in this world yes we should learn how to live peacefully with animals i'll definitely take good care of animals and do not kill animals indiscriminately thank you for watching our video remember to subscribe like and share our video and also don't forget to comment down below our videos to tell us more about your story of conscience see you next time bye